Welcome to the Heal Your Hunger Show, where we get to the heart of why you overeat and how to stop. If you struggle with food and weight like I did, welcome home. So welcome everybody to the Heal Your Hunger Show. So happy to be with you. It is a great day to be alive. Great, great day. And I'm really excited about this topic. Um, this came up literally yesterday. Um, somebody said this and it just it just rocked my world. Okay. This person said, change your normal, change your life. And I really wanted to talk about this today. Now, before I get into that, I want to just say, if you're new to the Heal Your Hunger show, pop on over to the secret sauce group. That's where I'm uh, recording this live. So you can actually ask questions uh, with this recording in Facebook. Just type in the secret sauce and emotional eating, and you can be a part of that group. Um, and that's when I, I post a lot of different things from my life and uh, little lessons. And uh, there's a lot of chatting going on in there and support of one another. So don't uh, miss out on that. Also, if you're not sure from you're an emotional eater and you haven't taken the emotional eating quiz yet, go to healyourhunger.com and take the emotional eating quiz. So uh, then you'll know, and then you'll know uh, what steps to take based on your personalized score. So today's topic is so important, especially around holiday time, uh, you know, and it's really about what our normal is. Now, if you're an emotional eater, you know that the normal is to obsess about food. The normal is to fight food. The normal is to fight our weight you know, is to be constantly complaining about our weight, constantly griping to ourselves about how fat we are, how fat our thighs are, how big our butt is, and looking in the mirror and checking ourselves out and being so critical, so mean, right? Meany, meany thoughts towards ourselves. And I just want to say that this new norm, this, this past normal needs to change so that we have a new normal. Because when we live in obsession with food, when we live uh, just being, you know, just being really beating up our, on ourselves and just, um, uh, you know, being unhappy with our weight and also being obsessed with food, you know, that is, first of all, not normal. <laughs> That's not how people normally live. People do not spend their waking hours obsessing about food. That is the emotional eater way. Okay, that's what we do when we're emotional eaters. Um, unfortunately, you know, that's a way of life for us. It's so much a way of life for us. We don't even think about it. We don't even think, wow, there's a possibility that I don't have to think about food 24 seven. You know, we just do it. We do it day in and day out and we don't really think twice about it. But I'm here to say you do not have to have that experience with food. You can have a new experience where you're not obsessed with food, where food is not your go-to, where you're not constantly um, looking to escape your feelings by diving into the carbs and the sugar and the fat and, and all the ooey gooey chewy foods. Um, that's the old normal. Think about it. You know, I think in, in order to have a new normal, we have to realize we do have an old normal and a normal that is not normal. And that is to really be obsessed with food, to be obsessed with our weight, our body, to be unhappy with our bodies, to be constantly wishing we're a different weight. My God, I spent so many years wishing I were thinner and hating the weight that I was. And what became very ironic about that scenario is that uh, is basically that I wished, I, I got to the point where I wished I were the weight I was when I hated the weight that I was. Make sense? I wished I were the weight that I was when I hated the weight that I was. So I'm like, I wish I were that weight, the weight that I used to hate because it's thinner than the weight I hate now. So just be careful of hating your weight and hating your body because it can always get bigger, right? And that's worse. So be grateful for where you are right now. You could be bigger right now. You could pack on 10 pounds. Um, and if you don't accept a new normal in your life, you might do that. So be grateful for where you are right now. Just say, God, thank you so much for this beautiful body that I have and the beautiful curves that I have. Curves are beautiful. So just bless your body. Thank God that you have the body that you have. It's not a hundred pounds more than it is. Okay. So what I want to do is just talk about how to create this new normal because, you know, obsessing about food and weight is not normal. And I don't want you to live as if it is, okay? So let's just take a little trip down uh, new normal lane, okay? Let's, let's just, like, just play with me here. Let's envision, 
let's envision what a new normal might be. First of all, loving our bodies, right? Loving and blessing our bodies every single day, waking up and touching ourselves, touching our, our boobs, touching our stomach, touching our butt, touching our legs, and just blessing all of it, just blessing every single part of our bodies, you know, and thanking God for that, you know, that, that limb, you know, that, that eyesight, that, those, those ears that could be sticking out. We could have way big, big elephant ears, but we don't. We have normal ears that just, you know, taper to our, our heads, you know, how, more or less, you know. Some have bigger ones that, and then others, but they're not elephant ears. So thank goodness for that. Like, just think about all the different blessings that you have. Thank goodness for all the fingers that you have. Thank goodness for your senses, your sense of smell and your sense of taste and your sense of touch, eyesight, hearing. Um, think about the blessings, okay? So this is a new normal where we bless our bodies, where we feel good about our bodies. Another new normal is where we have a healthy relationship with food. We wake up and we didn't binge the night before. We didn't overeat. We didn't snack. We didn't eat ice cream and cookies and cereal. We wake up hungry, naturally hungry, and we're excited for a yummy breakfast. We make ourselves a yummy breakfast. We don't stop at 7-Eleven or McDonald's. We actually prepare a beautiful, yummy, nourishing breakfast, perhaps some eggs, perhaps some spinach, some vegetables, perhaps you know um, a bowl of oats or whatever you might prefer for health and you know healthy eating um think about having a day where you wake up and that's naturally what you crave okay then you go on and 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 you go about your day and you're going along just you know enjoying the day working interacting with people and then you start to feel hunger pangs. You start to feel hungry and you notice that it's getting towards lunchtime and you start to get hungry, but you don't snack. You don't, you don't nibble on chocolate, you know, in the office or in the, in the office kitchen. No, you wait because you're going to have a delicious meal that you prepared for yourself. You put it in a Tupperware container and brought it to work. It's a salad with yummy um, things, nuts and protein and, you know, some sort of meat perhaps, or, or uh, beans if you're vegetarian, and you enjoy that yummy lunch because you haven't snacked and you're hungry for it and you deserve a yummy, delicious, nutritious lunch. Then you go about your day and in the afternoon, you start to have a, a slump, right? You're getting sort of tired and it's the time when you used to, in your old normal, you used to have coffee as a pick-me-up, coffee and a donut, or coffee and some sugar, some, some candies from the candy jar, or a cookie. Um, but no, you don't do that because you have a new normal. And the new normal is to take a break when you're tired. Take a break and meditate. Just spend 20 minutes or 10 minutes and do a little time out. Perhaps you do that in your car, or perhaps you go for a little walk and do that. Or if you're in the cold, cold weather, you walk in, up and down the hallways in your office and you, you have your earbuds in and you pray. You pray. Nobody knows who you're talking to. You're kind of doing it under your breath, but they don't know that you're not talking to a friend. And so instead of eating, instead of drinking caffeine, you're doing something natural to pick yourself up, whether it's a walk or meditation. Um, you take a break and you take care of yourself. Okay, that's the new normal. Then you go home in the afternoon and you, uh, if you haven't meditated um, before that time, you go home, you go straight, you bypass the kitchen and go straight to your bedroom and you take a time out, you light a candle, perhaps you put on some soft music and you meditate or perhaps you, you just lay down for a short nap. That's your new normal. And when you do that, when you have that little, that delicious time out, that delicious quality time with yourself and with your higher power, you feel refreshed and renewed. And then you go to the kitchen and you don't snack. You don't nibble. You don't, you don't slam half a uh, bag of chips. Um, you're not in that, that compulsing mode. You're feeling emotionally stable, uh, just calm, and you are just enjoying you know, cooking dinner, a healthy dinner for yourself or for your spouse and yourself or yourself and your family. And it's a nourishing meal. Um, you're feeling relaxed, you're feeling joyful, um, you're, you're loving and not stressed, and so you're cheerful and, and playful with the people around you, and then you have a yummy meal, and you feel good at the end of that meal. You feel full, but you're not stuffed. 
um, you're, you're totally satisfied. And then the rest of the evening is spent with your family, uh, just being relaxed, uh, connecting at the, in, at the heart level. You're not on your phone. You're not, you know, distracted. You're present, fully present. You're nourished. You feel healthy. You feel whole. You feel loving. And then with that beautiful, loving feeling, uh, you get ready for bed. You don't stay up too late because uh, you're not like in that, that place of wanting to run from yourself or watch late night TV because you just don't want to bear going to bed or facing yourself you know, with your nightgown, you know, uh, off in bed, uh, you just, uh, appropriately, you know, at nine o'clock you start winding down because you want to take care of your body. You want to get good rest. Um, you brush and you floss your teeth, even though it's not your favorite thing to do, you do it anyway, because you love yourself and you want to keep all your teeth because you only get to keep the ones you floss <laughs> and you just, you do the, you do the self care, acts that you know they're not your favorite thing to do but they're automatic they're non-negotiable you take care of yourself and um and god takes care of the rest so you pray before you go to bed um if you have a sweetie you kiss your sweetie good night or and then some maybe uh because you because you love yourself and you love being loving loving feels good you're not hiding your body you're not trying to escape you know, intimacy, you're, you're fully present with the ones you love and you enjoy yourself and then you drift off to sleep. Okay. This can be your new normal. Doesn't it sound delicious? Doesn't that just sound delicious? That my friends can be your new normal, not the old way, not staying up too late to beat yourself up and feel tired and be struggling, not to be avoiding intimacy, not to be diving into the food and hiding out from life and food. Those are not normal ways to live and they don't have to be your normal anymore. So the caveat, you got to get support. Okay. You got to get support. Um, chances are you can't turn on a dime and just start having a new normal. Uh, you know, you've tried, I know you put in a good effort. Um, you know, let us help you at heal your hunger. We're here for you. you you're welcome to register for a complimentary uh, breakthrough session, emotionally breakthrough session with me. And I can talk to you about, uh, learn about you and talk to you about what uh, next steps might be right for you. But don't try to do it alone because probably you're going to end up in your old normal if you do. But I want a new normal for you. You know, when we change our normal, we change our lives. Imagine if you had that scenario that I described. Imagine if that was your life. Total self-love and self-care. You know, putting yourself first and, and everybody gets the spillover of that, which is good stuff. You know, they're getting the best of you because you've made yourself a priority. Imagine all the amazing opportunities that can open up to you when you're no longer tired, you're no longer depressed or stressed or in that, that rabbit hole of self-hatred, but you're feeling great, you're doing great, and you just have a great outlook on life. Imagine, just imagine all the beautiful opportunities that could come to you when you're, your arms are open and you have a positive, loving attitude. And, uh, and you're just saying the universe, here I am, I'm ready. I'm ready for more good. That's the new normal I want you to have, but you got to change the old normal. You got to let it go so that you're open to a new normal. And I want to help you do that. So I hope this has been helpful. It's just short and sweet message. You know, change your normal, change your life. Love you so, so much. Wishing you all the best. I hope I get to connect with you soon. Don't forget to join me in the secret sauce group. Take good care. If you enjoyed this podcast and want to get free support, insider health info, exclusive invites to events, and more, visit HealYourHunger.com.